Hi, so I'm gonna do another week vlog because I am joining in with TBR Jar Readathon. So this is where I am going to pick my first book for this week. So it's a week long, it's from midnight July 2nd, so it's at the start of July 2nd to the end of July 9th. So this is my TBR Jar, it's my little mug, and I've put all my books that I want to read in there. Um, so this is helping me with TBR and Beyond's um, Summer Loving Book Camp. So I've put the first board I rolled, I've worked out all the books I'm gonna do and I have put them all in my mug for this week. See how far I can get with it. So shake it up and then pick out three apparently. Pick out one, there we go. And it is Ooh. I have picked Love Songs and Other Lies. So the HC just means that it's in hardcover rather than a knock. So I've got an actual book to read. So this book is this one here. So this is my first book for July. Love Song and Other Lies by Jessica Pennington. This is super exciting because it's one of our TBR and beyond group reads as well and I think it's like only my third or fourth challenge, I think it's my third challenge so it's not like I have to go back and read too many hopefully. So yeah, this is the start of my week. Hey, so I'm about to finish Love Songs and Other Lies so I am going to pick my next read. Do, 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 do. What is it gonna be? I can't even get my hand in my mug. Right, got one. It is, oh my gosh, Gunslinger Girl, which is one of our other group reads for TBR and beyond. Ta-da! So I'm gonna go put this in a separate can't think what the word is. Separate book sleeve so that I can take it to work because I don't think they're both gonna fit in one sleeve. So yay! Hey, so it is Friday lunchtime. I'm just and I am walking into town. I thought I would do a little video clip, little video clips to show you what time it's like. Yeah, just popping in to visit the library for the first time in years. It's been redone and popping in to work. So this is the boys' school, that's their chapel. The gate. It's really old. So we have a bust of William the Conqueror because he came to work as dad before he was crowned. And yeah, Berks is School first in 1541. So this is St. Peter's Church. Um, it is super old, was built from like the 1000 AD, something like that. Um, yeah, it's been rebuilt, like, well, added to Lowe's over the years. Yeah, all made out of like local flint, um, I think sandstone or something as well. This is the graveyard with some of the old graves in. Sounds like they're practicing in there. Yeah, this is the rest of it. Um, this is also where two of my aunts got married. Several of my cousins have been baptized. It's so pretty. And then that's our courthouse. That's what used to be the courthouse. Little tiny cobbled road. And the buildings are so old. And our war memorial. So 
it's Saturday evening-ish. I've just got home from work. Um, England are through to the semi-finals of the World Cup. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, yeah, I may have watched her work, but oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, so gonna make tea. I don't really know what else to do. Qualifying is over for Formula 1, which I also managed to watch on my break. I don't know whether to watch the other football game tonight or whether to read. I should really read for this readathon. I'm still only on book two. But yeah. Um, otherwise, apart from that, I've got a video to edit that was supposed to go up last Sunday. And it's now Saturday. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think I've got another video to make as well because the back of road. So busy, busy. Great for those, for those Perisic are ready to be one against one. And we also have two fullbacks. Morning is Tuesday morning. My voice is about to go. Um, yeah, so the TBR jar of readathon is over. And I failed miserably. I managed to read. What did I read? Um, Love Songs and Other Lies, which was so good. And I'm about two thirds to three quarters of the way through Gunslinger Girl this week. Just didn't fall together for me. So, yeah, really annoyed. But there we go. So, even though the readathon I was doing is over, I'm thinking I might carry on vlogging um, each week. You can totally see my phone. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I might carry on vlogging each week uh, just to let you guys know what I'm up to, where I'm reading. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to like be able to record every day. Um, so yeah, and I'm quite liking doing this, like picking my TBR out of a mug. So I think I might carry on doing that as well, which I have actually just done because I finished Gunslinger Girl. And I picked out the dragon with a chocolate heart, although Amazon still haven't sent it to me. So I've just asked for a replacement copy. So I'm going to pick my next read. I'm folding paper one hand is really difficult. <laughs> so I got The Girl with the Dragon Heart, which is an arc. It's the follow-on of The Dragon with the Chocolate Heart. So those are going to be my two reads after. So let's pick my next read because I need something I can actually read. is Sheer Water. It's one of my arcs that I have off NetGalley. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go grab my iPad and start reading that. Hey, so my voice is really going. Um, I finished Sheer Water just now, so I thought I would pick my next read. Seeing as the dragon with the chocolate heart hasn't arrived. Well, there's one handed. Oh my gosh. Sheerwood is really good, by the way. And it is The Book Nights, which is an arc off Neck Alley. So I'm gonna go start that one. That it sounds really funny because it's like a gender bent take on King Arthur. Stupid books. So yeah, I'm gonna go read that. Hey, so it is Sunday afternoon. I just think about them. Um, went to see Incredibles 2 this morning. So good. And I am taking part in a 24 hour readathon with some people from TBR and beyond today. So I need to get started on my book. Um, yeah, I'm just going to read this afternoon and evening as much as I can. I haven't spoken 
or done this for the last few days because I found out on Thursday that I have an upper respiratory infection and it's uh, really affecting my voice and my throat. Um, I've been off work this week so yeah um, ended up not being able to really talk at all and having to rest my voice, my throat so yeah it's been an interesting week, it's been very quiet and I've done quite a bit of reading, I've managed to read I can't remember what I told you I was on um, managed to read The Book Nights, Shearwater Girl with the Dragon Dragon with the Chocolate Heart and I am currently on The Girl with the Dragon Heart which is the follow on, it is so good yeah and before that I read Gunsling a Girl, I can't remember as I say what I've told you so yeah gonna carry on with Girl with the Dragon Heart i finished that off because I'm about 72% of the way through something like that so yeah I've just finished The Girl with the Dragon Heart so picking my next read I make weird noises like yeah Ooh, super excited The Sea Witch which is an arc of Met Galley because it doesn't come out until the end of July super excited for this one Sunday evening and just finished The Sea Witch. It is so good. Such an interesting take on an origin story for Ursula. Um, so yeah, time for the next one. I've got six left on this board so we'll see. And it's Girl at Sea which is an arc game. So Glad to be getting through those. So it is Wednesday morning. Um, be back at work for two days. Still reading The Girl at Sea at the moment, um, but I don't have that long left of reading it. So I should finish on my first break. So I thought I would pick my next read. is Infinity War so I've got a graphic novel to read super excited so it's Thursday morning um almost well in Infinity War so I'm gonna be finishing that today so I'm gonna get my next read so my next read is Sky in the Deep which is our group read for TBR and beyond woo hey so it's Sunday morning my voice is going again Yesterday was day one of 24 and 48. I didn't read until like half 11 last night. So I'm taking my 48 hours from then. I had family barbecue and then I still mama mia too. So good. But yeah, so in one sitting I read I read Sky in the Deep. It's so good. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so time to pick my next read, especially for 24 and 48. Where to put the mug? See ya. when I was on holiday and it is oh my gosh okay so I need to go grab that and make a start hey it is Thursday evening got back from Wakefield earlier and prepped myself for Yauk which starts tomorrow cannot wait um I will do a full haul from that including all my signed books that I'm gonna get signed I cannot wait amazingly can last year 
going to be a fantastic one this year. Going to go to loads of talks, and this year I actually know people who are going, so hopefully going to be out for quite a few of them. But I cannot carry the Queens of Inisla with me into London because it's absolutely massive and annoyingly it's dragging. So I'm going to pick one of my books that's left, which is definitely an e arc. So. We have Rekka, which is a historical fan, uh, historical fiction. It's an adult, adult book, and um, yeah, it's about shipwrecking in Cornwall. So I am so looking forward to that. Hey, it is Friday evening, I suppose. Um, just finished at Yauk. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, yeah, another two days to go. It is a hot, sweaty mess in there. So, yeah, I apologise for looking at this. But I do have on my Alwyn Hamilton hair at the full top. Whoop. Um, yeah, great day, great panels, great signings. I missed one of the panels I wanted to go to because of um, signings were taking so long. But, yeah, it's just so frustrating because it was one I wasn't that bothered about. But then they ended up handing out arcs at it, so a bit pissed. But, you know. Um, yeah, just waiting for the train home and then, yeah, gotta try and sort out what I got signed and what I've bought and what arcs I've got, etc, etc. So, yeah, let's just start a reading. So it's Saturday, end of Yauk, and I thought I would do a, like, tour for you of what Yauk is like. So, it's pretty quiet now, everyone's gone home, or going home. So I thought I would do it now rather than being absolutely crazy busy. So yeah. So it's currently the left of the signing area over there. And then this is like the publisher section. Start off. Danielle is still signing books. <laughs> Okay. 
Thank you.